Hello, I am Dr. Deepti and we are looking at different concepts from maths under the heading Decreations Mathematics. Currently, we are looking at topics from linear algebra and the focus is on matrices. Let us try to find out the result of multiplication of a matrix and a vector. This is done on special demand. We already had a video on matrix multiplication under the heading Decreations Mathematics. Those of you who want to revise it, you can go back and refer to that video. But I was requested to make a video on this topic. So we are doing it here. Now, what is a matrix? A matrix is a two dimensional array. So if you have a matrix A with M rows and N columns, you can denote it in this manner, A, M by N. What is a vector? Vector is a one dimensional array. So if you look at a vector carefully, you would realize that this is a column matrix and the order is, for example, N into one. It's a column matrix so this one is going to remain constant. What will change is just the number of rows. Now, if you want to take a product, there has to be an eligibility condition that needs to be satisfied. And of course, that comes from the fact that this is based on dot product. What is that condition? The number of columns of matrix, which in this case is N, has to be equal to the number of rows of this vector, which again here is n. So here the condition is satisfied. So if the condition is satisfied, we can go for the product. Now, as I said, it is basically dot product. So if the matrix is a m cross n and if the vector is n cross 1, then the resultant is going to be again a matrix, specifically a column matrix. So right now I've called it column vector so that you are keep both the things in your mind that it is a column matrix and basically it's a vector. And the order is going to be M into one. So you would realize that in case of the product, the number of rows are going to be equal to the number of rows in the, in the original matrix that you had used for multiplication. Now, if you consider a special case that if A is a row matrix, you would realize that it is just a multiplication of a row and a column and it is as good as your typical dot product. Now let us try to illustrate these concepts with examples. So here I have a 3 by 3 matrix and a vector whose order can be set to be 3 by 1. So obviously it will result into a vector and the order is going to be 3 into 1. Now how do you multiply it? Well, go on multiplying each element of row in the matrix with each element of column in the vector. So 1 into 1 is 1 plus 2 into 2 that is 4 plus 1 into 3 that is 3. So 1 plus 4 plus 3 that gives you 8. Similarly, this row that is the second row of the matrix into the column will give you 2 plus 2, 4 plus 3, 7. Similarly, multiplication of the third row of the matrix and the column will give you 1 plus 2, 3 plus 2 into 3, 6, that is 9. So you get this as a result. Now there is special case of an eigenvector. Eigen is a German word which means own or characteristic. 
or typical. So, if you have an eigenvector and then if it is multiplied by the matrix, so you can see that this matrix A is used for multiplication, you get back that vector but it has scaled. That means in terms of geometry, it has expanded or compressed. It has not changed its direction. And what is that factor? That is the eigenvalue. So if you multiply these two, you can see this is 1 plus 2, 3 plus 1, 4. So instead of writing 4 here, I have taken out 4 common. So I am just written 1 here. Similarly, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4, again, 4 taken out common. Similarly, 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 4, again, 4 taken out common and 1 is retained. So you get back the same vector, but it is scaled, it is 4 times. So this is how it is written, the equation A into V is equal to lambda V. It's a very, very important concept. So this is all about matrix vector multiplication. We will meet in the upcoming videos with some more interesting concepts. Thank you.